Hey everybody, this is Dr. Joe Boyle with this week's health kick. That's right, kick it, baby. I got my uh, coaching shirt on. My son just had an awesome football game. We just finished the season out. We were uh, we lost one game all season, uh, one of our early games. So uh, we had a, my son Vito had a phenomenal football game today. He had two massive tackles, just incredible. One of them was a. Uh, uh, saving a touchdown, the, one of the guys broke away and uh, he ran uh, almost 80 yards downfield, got the angle on him, took him out. They never scored, never got a field goal, so that was pretty exciting. He also had two big runs uh, as well, so that was exciting as well. So he was pretty pumped up. A couple weeks ago, he had the game-winning touchdown. So so real excited for them and, uh, and a great, it's been a great season, so we're in the playoffs, so I'm, I'm real excited about that. Um, today, I wanted to talk a little bit more about uh, the body and function. One of the frustrations there there is uh, as a as a holistic guy, a guy that that is vitalistic, and a guy that practices as a healthcare practitioner from the viewpoint of holism is the is the cures. You know, when you look at what sells, everybody's looking to buy the miracle diet, the miracle pill, the miracle um, drug, the miracle potion. Um, you know, these books by even Kevin Trudeau, you know, the miracle cures medicine doesn't want you to know about and so forth. You know, there's benefit to that, but I still think all of that misses the point. And that is that people forget that your body wants to be healthy. And uh, you've heard me use the example of a plant, so I'll use it again. Uh, you know, if a plant is sick and you want it to be healthy, you're not going to look, read a book for a miracle cure. You're going to say, I need to give it good nutrition. I need to make sure it's in a proper amount of sunlight. I need to, need to make sure that it's getting the right amount of water. I mean, you're not going to do a blood draw off the plant. You're not going to do a CT, MRI, and so forth. When you look at the plant, you say, geez, the plant isn't sick, uh, looking sick, and that's the illness, so I need to treat the illness. You're going to say the plant's sick because it's deficient. It's deprived of something, and I need to give it what it's deprived in to make it healthy. And if we could just, as a, as a collective civilization, step back and look at our health and our body and the function of the human body that way, it would change the world. You know, 95, 97% of all disease is totally preventable. Now, I use that stat because if I look at geneticists, they say about 3% of the population has some type of a genetic problem. Now, when we start to understand uh, epigenes, we realize that 3 to 5% if it, uh, in some studies it's been five, that three to five percent um, could be correctable as well. Uh, because what we understand with epigenes is whatever I do to my body now not only affects me and the, and my, the way my body works and reproduces itself, but it affects my DNA, therefore it affects my offspring. And I make them sicker and I make them more prone to having sickness and disease and illness and so forth. But they can change and therefore change their DNA. So not to get complicated and go down that, we've talked about that before in epigenes, you can, you can pull that up on a prior health kick. But I think what we really need to understand and, and realize is that your body has what it needs to be healthy. And what you need to do, much like a plant, any time uh, you step back and you say, my body's not doing what it, what it should be, it's not, it's not behaving in the manner in which I want it to be and so forth. If you're to step back and go, huh, I'm gonna make some changes, here to make it work better, to make it function better, and so forth, and that would be water, uh, you know, your nutrition, your exercise, checking your nerve supply, are your thoughts proper, and so forth. Those are the places to look to get your body healthy. You know, as soon as you start looking outside the body for elixirs and pills and potions and drugs and so forth, what you're doing is you're not treating the problem. What you're doing is you're treating a manifestation of what's really wrong. And that's not what's really wrong with you inside. And, and hopefully the way I'm explaining it, it's making sense. But we all have to understand the body already knows how to heal. If you nurture that and then keep nurturing that, you'll always be healthy. So once I give the plant water, sunlight, nutrition, and it gets healthy, what do I still need to do to the plant in order to keep it healthy? Water, sunlight, nutrition. See, if I take any one of those three things away, any one of those three things, the plant's going to get sick disease. It's going to die. So will you. So you can't make the effort to get healthy and then take away what you did to get healthy. You've got to keep it up, and you got to keep it up at all times. Now, hopefully that's making sense. So when anytime you don't like the way your body works, do yourself a favor. Don't run to Kinney's or one of the drugstores and look in an aisle and try to, try to drug something away. What I ask you to do, what I challenge you to do is step back and go, you know, am I taking care of myself? 
And I'll end it here. Am I eating properly? Am I exercising to some degree? You don't have to join a gym and go four hours a day. But I eat, am I eating properly healthy living food? When's the last time I ate a living food, right? Am I exercising to some degree? Am I moving or am I sitting in front of the TV all day? What are my thoughts to myself? Am I thinking good, happy thoughts or am I thinking nothing but worry negative thoughts all the time, right? They're kind of important. Do I get regular sleep? Am I on some structure where I'm sleeping regularly? Do I drink a lot of water? And guys, you know, it's not, do you go to a chiropractor? It's who's your chiropractor? If you don't have a good connection between your brain to your body, if your brain isn't able to communicate through a spine that's crooked and diseased and twisted, you die sooner. That's not me saying it. That's the leading medical neurophysiologist in the world saying it. So crooked is sick, straighter is healthy. You got to go to a chiropractor regularly. That's how it works. That's the secret to longevity and health and life. You do all those things. Your body will live a longer, better life, and you'll be talking to your grandkids. And who benefits from that? Both you and your great-grandkids. Guys, it's been Dr. Joe Borio with this week's Health